Hello there guys, Roy there and welcome to Dialog Flow Chatbot series. So in this series we are gonna build a chatbot for my portfolio website the still trusted hotel. So chatbot right here so user can direct direct with chatbot. Yeah, so let's see some slides for introduction to dialog flow. So this is dialog flow's official website. So as you can see we can we can directly in integrate with uh, Google and uh, messenger kick slack facebook skype twitter so let's see some slides so yeah so design flow is a natural language understanding platform used and design and direct conversation for like all type on all platforms so uh, dialogue flow has three major components intent intentity and fulfillment so let's say more about it so intent Intent is like direct context of the chat. So what user wants to say, like what what do you want from that chat? Like for example, what is the forecast? So what is my intention in that, in that sentence? So my intent, intention is to knowing the weather. So weather is cold or hot or whatever. So here, this is the figure directly taken from the official documentation. So we can see like we can send more data to agent and agent can detect the intent so what is your intent so after detecting that intent you just like bot can start functional intent so second is entity so entity is like so if user says my email is test 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 so the email the, the email is the entity so like for example user says my name is Rohit so Rohit is the entity which is name so in name entity Rohit is example of the name entity the third is fulfillment so we use fulfillment for like handling data like for uh, handling data so for fulfillment what we can do so we send a request to a rest api and rest api handle that request and send us back a response so the response could be anything so if i want to know free time so the rest api can check my free time using that free api from back end and can tell user so that I'm free like for 9 to 10, 10 to 11. Yeah. So requirements for this project. So a Google account, which is basically all, everyone have and the basic web page. So have this web page. I will integrate the chatbot right here in the right corner. Yeah. And then Node.js installed because for fulfillment, we use, we will use Node.js. Yeah. And the ngrog. So ngrog is basically a, a tool which opens your like local port to public so you don't have to don't don't have to host your website anywhere else yeah so you can just you can make your own pcs server so here's the wireframe of the project so we can see so which are not connected which are uh, intents which we have to build and which are connected so they are uh, intent of context so if i ask name so then next intent you have to ask email and then confirm it so which are not connected so they are like free free intent so we have to build that so that's it let's jump in console yeah yeah so like what did dialog flow actually do so we can build chatbot without dialog flow but dialog flow handles all nlp libraries like we don't have to think up more about english so let's create a new agent here create a new agent so I will call it still thirsty so I'll just leave this empty no problem in that it will take like 40 to 50 seconds to create it yeah so first thing you will do to yeah you should enable small talk so small talk like you can see example how are you so the port can directly reply this yeah so you can test small talk here like small tech have con uh, options like emotion about agent so if i ask who are you so like it will automatically answer that so like you have the help emotion feature so if i said i'm sad yeah so so that's a cool feature all right so let's start integrated in, in website 
so we are integrating a website messenger so we have to enable it just copy this script in the html file so i will paste this script in this website's code so let me open my code editor So just paste it just before the end body tag. So I'm pasting here, saving it, and if I want to go live. Yeah, so we can see this bar here. That's easy. Easy is that. Okay, that's it. Uh, we successfully integrated our first chatbot. So let's start building this wireframe. So welcome intent have already have in our uh, dialog flow. So let's create first intent for academics. So like for academy section uh, in my website. Like I have this uh, Indian Institute of Science Education and Research and my old internships. So I will add that in the chatbot so if we ask for like academics yeah so it will, now it's saying can you say that again but after implementing the academics intent so it will answer my academics details all right so far we uh, we integrated our chatbot in website and we enabled small talk in a dialog flow so let's get started and create our first intent so let's create first entry called academics yeah, so here is a typo yeah, so let's create academics so we don't have any context for the academy section because we user can ask for academics anytime anywhere so we do also we don't have events that uh, that will be triggered after after letting know that uh, this intent is academics so let's train our model so if user are directly asked for academics of like or like maybe academic details and like education and like anything that will trigger the academic intent maybe yeah that's it so like for the responses let's add a response and save a, add a response like yeah, so let's save it as of now and if i want to so uh, if i want to here and if i uh, we have to reload the site yeah, and if I say academics so it will answer undergraduate from my survey so I will add uh, yeah, I will make this text to be a rich text like maybe designs or like uh, clicks or maybe like in the I survey we can have a click options uh, which which can go to the like main official ICRP site or maybe like we can add anything so we created first academic demo so like I have to write all my academic details uh, and like make a chatbot so I will write the academic details in a doc file and we will copy paste from there so all right so we created our first uh, intent so let's create one more intent uh, which may be skills okay so no skills have entity oh, okay no problem in that so let's create one more intent called skills and let's train the model by writing skills your skills yeah that's it and like for the text response let's copy paste from here so let's copy everything and paste it right here okay. 
save it so it's like a basic uh, basic copy paste working yeah but in the fulfillment section well, let's save it yeah but fulfillment section we will need a good programming knowledge so okay let's test, test it so refresh the site yeah so as you can see we have added a skill section if i write hi yeah so each is that okay so for the next uh, next next section we will add like uh, instead of text response we will add a custom payload so here you you will like need a good knowledge of json json file it like how json file works uh, maybe i can quickly show you how json file works yeah so json have file json files have like object inside object and object and object yeah, so this is the basic json file yeah that's it the